Hello and welcome to another video on the Legos R Us channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an acceleration program that you can use for your EV3 LEGO Mindstorms robot. This program can be turned into a MyBlock and is very useful in FLL. This is because in FLL, wheels can slip when just starting going at high speeds. This acceleration program makes the robot start slow and then speed up, completely destroying this issue. The My Block acts like a regular move block, giving you speed, distance, and turning options, but it adds in an acceleration time. This is how long you want it to take your robot to accelerate to full speed. To get started, create a new program and drag out two motor rotation sensor blocks. Set the blocks to reset, and then one to B and the other to C. Then drag out four variables, set the first to speed, the second to distance, the third to turn, and the fourth to acceleration time. If you don't have these variables, just create a new one for each of these by going to the very top and pressing add variable. Then type in the name and press OK. So. After that, we're going to drag out a fifth variable and set it to speed. Now, drag out a compare block, set the variable to read numeric, and the compare block to greater than or equal to. Pull the data wire to the A port, and the B port should be at zero. Now, pull out a switch block set it to logic, and pull in the result from the compare block. Next, we're going to drag out four variables, two on the top and two on the bottom. Make a new variable called acceleration speed for the first two, and set the second two to speed. On the bottom, drag out a math block and set it to multiply. Set speed to read numeric, and plug it into the A port. The B port should be negative one. Now set speed to read numeric. Then drag out two loop blocks and set them both to count. Now drag out f another four variables, two inside the loop at the top and two inside the loop at the bottom. Okay, now set the first to acceleration speed and the second to turn. Now pull out two move steering blocks, one on the top and one on the bottom. Set them both to on. And now change the acceleration speed and turn variables to read numeric. After you finish that, drag the wires from acceleration speed into the speed and turn into the turn, just like that. And do the same thing on the bottom. Now drag out two more variables and set them after the move steering blocks. And now set them to acceleration time. Both of these should be on read numeric. Now drag out two math blocks and set them both to divide. Pull in the acceleration time into A port and we'll worry about the B port later. Now drag out two time blocks or wait blocks and drag the result into how long it waits. Now, drag out four variables and two math blocks set like this. So, a math block in between two variables on each side. Then, set the first two variables to read numeric and set all of the variables to acceleration speed.
set the bottom math block to subtract and pull in the first variable to the A port on each one. Now pull in the result to the second variable. And make sure that the B port is set to 1. Now drag the data wire from the speed variables in the beginning to the B port in the first math blocks on each program. For the bottom section, we are going to drag the result instead of the, directly the speed variable. Now, we are also going to drag the speed variable into the count at the end of the loops. And do the same thing for the bottom, but do it from the result. Now, we are going to take two variables and set each one to read numeric distance. Read numeric and distance. So now we're going to take out two motor rotation blocks, or four, two on each level, and set them to B and C. Make sure they're set to measure degrees. Go to math and pull out two blocks. One at the top and one at the bottom. Set them both to advanced. And on each one type in the equation in parentheses A plus B plus B divided by C. Type that in on both. So, in parentheses, A plus B divided by C. Set C to 2. And now plug in the data wires from the B and C rotation sensor blocks into each advanced math block on ports A and B. So, now we are going to take out another math block and put it after the advanced math block. Set both of them to subtract. Subtract. And we are going to drag the result of this to B. And the distance variable that we placed earlier to the A port. Now, drag out two more variables. One at the top, one at the bottom. Set them both to read numeric and then set them to turn. turn. Now take out a move steering block and then another one and put both on each level. Now set both of them for on for degrees. Drag the turn variable into the turn port. The result of these, this math block into the distance, and then zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Drag the speed variable from over here into the speed, just like that. And the last thing you have to do for the program is drag out two more move steering blocks and set them both to off. And then the second one, and set it to off. And that's it for the program. Next, we're going to make it into a my block. To make the program into a my block, zoom out until you can see the entire program. And then highlight everything except for the play button. My block builder, and add four parameters. Name the my block acceleration. and make the block icon two motors. And then go to the first parameter, parameter setup, and type in steering. Make it a horizontal slider with a minimum of negative 100 and a maximum of 100. The default value should still be zero. Then go to parameter icons and use the little arrow. 
Then go to the second parameter. The parameter icon can be a speedometer. And in parameter setup, the name should be speed. It should be a vertical slider. The default value should be whatever speed you use most. For us, it's 50. And the minimum should be negative 100, while the maximum is 100. Then the third parameter should be distance. So type in distance for the name. It should have a default value of 360. And a parameter icon of this. Now the last icon will have a can be whatever you feel best represents acceleration. For me, it is this icon right here. In parameter setup, name it acceleration. The parameter style should be a text input and the default value should be whatever acceleration time you feel you will use the most. For us, it's going to be 0.5 seconds. That means it'll take on average without changing anything half a second to accelerate to the maximum speed. Now we can press finish and we're done making the my block. Now we need to hook up all the data wires. So put steering into the turn variable, speed into speed, distance into distance, and acceleration into acceleration. Now we have everything done. To program it, just drag it from the My Block section. You can change the turning, how much you want it to turn. Um, just like in a normal move block, for comparison, here is a normal move block. Um, so you can have steering, just like this. You can have speed, just like this. You can have distance, just like this. On the end, on ours you have acceleration. The only thing that we don't have that the speed has is a break it in true or false. So to use the my block, you can type in speeds to make it go backwards, do a negative speed, which is slightly different from our gyro sensor blocks, my blocks, because we use a negative distance in those because it's much easier to program. Um, and for the acceleration, this number is how many seconds it'll take for it to reach the maximum speed you want it to go. So if we have the speed set to 60 and the acceleration at 1, that means it'll take 1 second to get to 60 speed. If we have the acceleration at 10, it'll take us 10 second seconds to get to 60 speed. In this video, the robot is reaching its maximum speed of 100 in one second. Zero because it's going straight, a speed of 100 because we want it to go at 100 speed eventually, a distance of 2000 because that's how far we had it going, and an acceleration of one. So it took one second, as shown here, for it to reach a speed of 100 degrees. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.